Good afternoon, Anderson astronauts. It's day number two of story time. Thank you to those of you who have emailed me or sent me a photo of you. I actually got to hear from Donna Garcia, and thank you for sending me a photo of you baking. Lance has been playing games with his parents, and of course, I heard from Martina Victoria's families, as well as Odie and Sebastian's families, and Camila too. So thank you to all of you who are messaging me or emailing or sending me photos via your parent's cell phone. If you can't find a way to message me, just please um, tell your parents, tell them to email me and I will give you a way to do that. Today we're going to read a story called, What If Everybody Did That? I am going to move this closer so that you can see the pictures today. So give me one sec. So here we go. What if everybody did that? By Ellen Javernick and illustrated by Colleen Madden. When we went to the zoo, I fed just a little of my popcorn to the bear. The zookeeper waved his broom and said, what if everybody did that? You can see the little boy is imagining what would happen if everybody at the zoo gave their food to the bears. I just wanted to see how fast the grocery cart would go. It went faster than I expected. When the manager stopped me, she said, what if everybody did that? Actually, that's how grocery stores have looked recently. On the way to visit Grandma and Grandpa in Kansas, I dropped just one soda can out the window. Some of you know that's a no-no with Mrs. Nelson. Littering is bad. The patrolman who put a, pulled us over said, what if everybody did that? Can you imagine, boys and girls, what our world would look like if we did that? At Uncle William's wedding, I took just a little lick of the frosting from the fancy cake. The lady behind the cake glared at me and said, what if everybody did that? Whew. I told the babysitter that I took a bath just once a year as she shooed me into the bathroom, she said, what if everybody did that? During story time, I had something important to say. I just couldn't wait till the end of the story. The librarian put her finger to her lips and said, what if everybody did that? I'll just read these captions. These are called speech bubbles. I gotta go potty. Why can't we read one of those other books? I've already heard this one. Actually, I've heard you guys say that one, that before. My mom said that recycling is a very good thing and that we it all helps us. And once I, I'm so hungry. How much do you weigh? I can touch my toes, see? While we sat in the car waiting for dad, I honked the horn. I just honked a few times, but Mr. Thompson came to his door. He shook his head and he said, what if everybody did that? Can you imagine how noisy our streets would be? At the swimming pool, I just splashed a little. The lifeguard blew his whistle and said, what if everybody did that? Yeah, that's how a swimming pool might look, or your bathtub. On the bus, I stood up to the, see the fire truck. Mr. Gearshift glared and said in the rearview mirror, what if everybody did that? Look, 
That's why we have kids sit down on the bus. Sit down, sit down. Just once, I didn't hang my coat on the rack at school. Mrs. Sanders made me pick it up and said, what if everybody did that? At recess, I threw just one snowball at Sammy. Mr. Walter saw me, and when he sent me to stand by the wall, he said, what if everybody did that? And actually, this is how my playgrounds looked in the snowy, cold mountains where I grew up. When we went out for dinner, I just shot one straw wrapper. The waitress stopped talking, it stopped taking our orders and looked straight at me and she said, what if everybody did that? After the football game, I just ran on the field to get the quarterback's autograph. The official waved his arms and said, what if everybody did that? Yeah, that would be fun. When I came home, I gave my mom a hug. What if everybody did that? Everybody should. So Anderson Astronauts, I really like this book because it gives a fun spin or fun ideas about things that we typically can do a little bit, but if everybody did them, it can hurt other people and it ends with something good you can do to make a difference in your family or with your friends or with the outside world. So we're going to do a little practice and I brainstormed and I thought of things that you wouldn't want to do and then instead what would you do? So on this side of the chart it says don't do this. Instead do this. For example, don't go through a door trying to be first. Instead, open the door for someone and smile. Don't scream. Instead, use a soft voice. Another one might be at home, just like hugging your mom and your dad and your brothers and sisters. Don't leave your dishes on the table or anywhere else in the house. Instead, clean and wash them. Now I thought of a funny one. Don't use the bathroom in the swimming pool. Instead, get out of the pool and use the proper bathroom. I like to swim, as you guys know. Boys and girls, I want you to brainstorm things that you should not do if everybody did that, how it would affect our world, and then come up with ideas that you could do. Feel free to send me a photo of you doing something productive or something positive, or you could make a chart and send that to me, or you could just write me an email or a message. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.